in Lesson 7, we'll create a home value calculator if you know how much money you can afford to pay for a house every month, the bank has told you what your interest rate is going to be, and you want a 30-year mortgage, we'll use the PV function to calculate how much house you can afford when you go house shopping. Here's a little more useful example for the PV function. Let's say you know how much you can afford each month for that new house that you want to buy you have been told by the bank what your interest rate is going to be and you figure you want a 30-year mortgage so you want to know how much house you can afford and that's important when you're house shopping so let's say my monthly payment is going to be let's say I can afford two thousand dollars a month I know my rate from the bank let's say they're giving me a seven and a half percent interest rate I want years to be 30, which makes the number of months, because we're making monthly payments now, equals 30 times 12. So now I can figure out down here how much house I can get using the PV function. All right, equals PV, present value. My interest rate is right here since we're making monthly payments we have to divide that by 12 comma number of periods it's right here number of months comma PMT the payment amount is right here remember that needs to be negative because money going out now, just to talk for a moment about these extra optional parameters here, FV future value, what that basically means for this example is, let's say after the house is paid off, you want to have so much money left over. Maybe you want to make sure you have an extra 20 grand left over for repairs or whatever. So you're going to continue your payments or something along those lines. You could put an extra future value in here. You want to pay above and beyond what the mortgage is for. Usually that's zero, that's almost never the case here. Type is either zero or one. And zero, which is the default, means the payments are due at the end of the payment period. Whereas one means the payments are due at the beginning of the period. Again, usually it doesn't matter. Usually when you get approved for a loan, whether it's a car loan or a mortgage, you know, you get approved January 1st, your first payment isn't usually due until February 1st. But that's what type means. Again, it almost never comes into play. Um, for you finance gurus, you might have situations where that's necessary, but for most people, you can ignore those optional parameters. Close it up, press enter, and you can see with those parameters right there, I can afford a house for about $286,000. If you want to cut that down to a 15-year mortgage, right, you can afford 215000 If you can only pay, let's say, $1,200 a month, well, you better be looking for a house in the $130,000 range. Okay, or move it up to a 30-year mortgage, you can get $170,000. Alright, so that's another example of where the PV function, the present value function, is handy. And also keep in mind that that figure there doesn't include your taxes, your insurance, and whatever other you know things you have. If you want to put 100 bucks away every month for maintenance or things of that nature. So that's just the regular payment as far as the value of the house is concerned.